in my last video we return this launch file to lo uh, to launch our uh, robot and uh, in a empty word in gazebo to load our uh, controllers and to uh, start the join state publisher node so in this tutorial uh, we will build our catkin workspace as we have made a lot of changes in it and then we will launch our file a uh, launch file so just open new terminal uh, then go to your workspace cd this command uh, move it like your workspace name and press enter then you need to uh, source the uh, devil slash setup bash file source devil slash uh, setup like the file available in devil folder press enter then do catkin build if you used catkin make when you created your workspace so make sure you use catkin make and not catkin build i use catkin build so i will just do press enter so my package uh, built successfully because uh, i didn't made any mistakes in any code uh, so if any error occurs here just read that error carefully and just try to make the changes here I was only having one package so it uh, built successfully nothing was ignored or abandoned so just again I need to source that uh, devil slash setup dot bash file because after you build that uh, package or the workspace the file gets generated again if you don't uh, source it again it will load everything that was uh, done previously uh, without uh, the new changes so once I sourced it before I uh, now the next thing is to launch our uh, launch file but before we launch our file we need to start the ROS master using this command in new terminal so keep this terminal open launch one another terminal and run the command here again you need to source here source slash opt the default ROS uh, setup that uh, file is source slash opt slash uh, ROS slash your version melodic is mine your may be noetic or previous one and setup dot bash once you execute that run the command ROS core and wait for your ROS master to start so the ROS core started ROS core service started just go here and now this is the command so the syntax you will find here ROS launch your package name and the URDF file name so you need to keep that this ROS master uh, terminal running and in new terminal you need to again if you are uh, in new terminal again you need to CD to your move it workspace you need to run this devil slash setup dot file then you need to run this I will just do control shift V press enter so once I did this you need to wait for some time again I will show you like what that red error is like uh, you should not get any error except this error this red error this is the PID gain like in the controller we haven't given any PID gains for the controller uh, you can uh, for now you can uh, like uh, ignore this error but except this error there should be no any error and again I will show you what you need to check you need to check that all the controllers are started well the three controllers we return the joint state controller the robot arm controller and the hand effector controller and you can see here our robot is loaded in gazebo properly you can see it is properly worked like sorry it is properly loaded uh, while we exported in uh, SOLIDWORKS from SOLIDWORKS we defined this position as the 00, zero position and in uh, our launch file we have given the uh, position of the joints as 00, zero so they all launched as 00, zero. so you can see you can rotate again I will show like this height we given in our URDF you go to your URDF file Open this URDF file. You will find that here I have given the 0 0.17. So if you come to Gazebo, you will find this height appear here. 
if you don't want it to uh, launch above suppose like in uh, if you go in industries like uh, the robotic arms are not directly like on ground they are on some platform so that's why i given this height so if you want to uh, load it at ground just go in the terminal where you launch the launch file just make control c it will uh, control c will uh, terminate all the commands running in this terminal so till it gets uh, uh, terminated everything go to your urdf and make this value as 000 this is the z value like 0, 0.0 make just make it 0, 0.0 so my x y and z values are 000 again you can rotate it using like a rpy it is it will be 0 to 3.142 you can give any value to each axis so you can experiment with that so once i did the changes just save it you don't need to build your catkin package if you made changes in just the urdf if you made any changes in the dependencies or uh, other files like uh, uh, which are uh, getting changed uh, after building you need to build your catkin workspace for urdf you don't need to do just press your upward arrow key on your keyboard to load the previous command just launch your robot like again make sure like your my master is again running here uh i don't know why it failed but uh yeah, it started but i can see here it uh, started so, so we don't need to worry so again if you come here you can see now my robot is on my whole ground because i made that z value as zero you can see it is completely on my ground okay and again i will show you the example for the roll picture now you can see my robots this end defector is pointed opposite to this green this is the y-axis opposite to y-axis if i want to align it like to facing this uh, x-axis i'll show you how you can do that if you want you can skip the video but uh, we are ready with uh, creating our basic urda package the next video we will see how to control this because like like for now this robot is steady we can't give any motion to it so come to your urdf and now here like a uh, role pitch yaw so i will just uh, give the role as uh, 3.14 and i will save this urdf i will go to this and again i will launch the robot it will be rolled uh, in uh, 180 degree so because i rolled it uh, i think i rolled it like roll is along the y axis i think we need to change yeah. sorry for that keep it uh, zero Which I think it is the yaw angle. You need to experiment a lot uh, around this, like uh, which value is along which axis. I'm showing you what happens if you change some value. Yeah, you can see like the yaw value we changed. It was the robot just uh, rotated along the z axis. So you can see previously it was facing to this side now it is facing to this side so the uh, roll value is along this uh, y-axis the pitch value is along this and roll is along this sorry the yaw is along this z-axis so make sure you give the proper value like it may be needed because sometimes if you have objects to pick at this side you need to rotate it along this side if you have objects to pick at this side you need to rotate it that side if your robotic arm can't rotate around its uh, vertical axis okay so that was the final tutorial sorry uh, yeah for this package this was the final tutorial 
the next package uh, in the next tutorial uh, we will uh, create a new uh, package using the move it uh, software available in the ROS 